Measure the pulley diameter outside of the conveyor structure and belt width. Verify the length of the shaft relative to the conveyor structure. Take out the assembly of the side plate. They will come pre-assembled from the factory. Determine the shaft location using the X and Y dimensions from the installation manual. Cut a hole for the shaft. Mark the mounting holes using the side plate. Insert the plastic bushing in the locking lever, then into the side plate, with the lever positioned between the structure and the side plate. Fasten the side plates and standoffs to each side of the conveyor structure. Use the 13 mm hardware included in your kit. Insert the shaft through the mounting plates, locking lever, and conveyor structure with the round end on the tensioner side. Verify that you have 5 to 6 inches, 125 to 150 millimeters of shaft extending past the side plate to accommodate the tension mechanism. Use the FGP ES insulation gauge to verify the position of the blade against the belt. Slide the gauge on the blade support bar and make sure the top of the gauge makes contact with the belt. The correct position occurs when the gauge seats flat against the belt. Slide the tension mechanism on the end of the shaft. Make sure the positioning disc is seated over the plastic bushing. Tighten the clamp with the 8mm bolt using food grade anti-seize. Adjust the torsion hub to its maximum adjustment and insert the set bolt. Use food grade anti-seize. With the blade properly adjusted, tension the mechanism by rotating the torsion hub. Tighten the set bolt until it contacts the torsion hub plus one quarter of a turn. Raise the locking lever into an upright position and then tighten the clamp bolt. The locking lever can be used to remove the blade from contact with the belt and can be locked in place with the pin. Run the belt for 15 minutes and inspect your work.